Hey guys, this is Alan with Center Consoles Only, and welcome to episode three. So in episode two, you saw the work we did on the cap, got that reinforced, filled the holes, fixed that transom, and got it ready to go. Now, episode three, you're gonna see the stuff that's happening below deck. We're gonna install the new fuel tank, reinforce everything underneath, reinforce areas of the transom, and get ready to put that deck in and put this boat to paint. installed a brand new fuel tank in this boat and we went with 80 gallons bringing it down from its original 100. The reason was he wanted 16 gallons of fresh water which we added towards the aft of the boat near the bilge area. So in order to create the new deck we had to make a template of the space that was cut out. So we used door skins, recreated that piece and made a whole new deck floor with the Vinicel foam. After we presented the new deck piece, what we did is we removed that, cleaned everything out, and we added supports all surrounding this deck area and the little piece that was left behind. That way we're guaranteed a strong structure going in and we guarantee that deck is solid once installed. make these supports we got 25 pound high density kusa board and actually cut the pieces to size in order to fit the space we needed at that point we got polyester high fiber structural putty and glued it all together to bond into one complete piece At this point, you can see the finished product with the high density foam where it needs to be and all the remaining space is filled in with that polyester putty. So 
So at this point, we went back over to the transom to reinforce that. And we used a similar process, the high density foam wrapped completely with 1708. So once we were finished, it made a really strong transom area. Once we saw the deck fit perfectly, we actually removed it and started working on it to prepare it for installation. Once we originally removed the, the initial deck, we noticed that all the rigging and wiring was just run through moldy foam areas. So in order to clean that up and make the future rigging, electronics, anything you want to put through there easier, we're running PVC through it all to create the tracks necessary to do so. things we did below deck as well is we added two rear floor bulkheads to structurally reinforce that area and we also added a nice large bilge hatch uh, for Vaughn to be able to access all that stuff very easily as also. as far as grinding out all the blisters on the cap so we can guarantee the smoothest surface possible when we go to paint. Once everything was ready below deck, we started preparation for installation of the deck itself. So we got the polyester high fiber structural putty and got to work.
distributed the putty throughout the deck area to make sure we had a solid surface all the way through. Once we got the deck down, we went ahead and got some wood pieces and just screwed it in to make sure we had a level surface and let that dry in place properly. So once all the holes were covered, the connections were made and that fiberglass dried, we sanded it all down and prepared it for paint. So at this point, we sprayed the entire boat with a 545 epoxy primer. At that point, we used Allcraft 2000 paint with a snow white interior and a light blue exterior that came out absolutely gorgeous. So we hope you guys enjoyed episode three. Episode four is the fun part. We get to rig this stuff together, put the console in, pick a T-top, all those details that the owner wants specifically. So stand by for that. We look forward to bringing it to you.